Hello everybody and welcome back to my 384 subscribers. My name is Matt Conagher and I'm building Kit Fox Series 7 STI, which is right here. In this episode 51, we're going to be installing the seat pan, which is over there. I've been doing a little cutting and fitting on it and I think it's ready to go in the, in the airplane. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this short video. We're going to pull the parts we need to uh, get it installed, test fit it in the, in the plane here and see how it fits. If it fits good, well, we're going to screw it in. So let's get into the video. When I almost forgot to mention, if you haven't already done so, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little tiny bell for notifications so you don't miss awesome content like this great video in the future. Well, let's get rolling. Okay, the shop's a bit of a pigsty right now. Now I've got 13.6 different projects going on, so in the process of getting back into the aircraft, I've got wood everywhere, uh, you name it. So let's get organized. So for the seat pan installation, we've got uh, cut off the excess material from the seat pan. We've done all that. We filed the notches. We've got all the notches filed. Um, temporarily installed the seat pan into the aircraft to notch the front corners. I've done that. Uh, match drilled the seat to the existing six mounting tab holes on the fuselage. We got that. Uh, upon final assembly, install the seat pan to the seat mounting tabs on the fuselage using the hardware shown. So what is the hardware shown? So the hardware shown is six screws, six nut plates, six washers, and six Monel rivets. And those should already be installed on the fuselage. So let's take a peek at that. Right. Monel rivets installed right here. Hopefully you can see that. They're uh, riveted onto the fuselage there. Done that in uh, six different locations. So the Monel rivets, if I'm pronouncing that properly, have already been installed into the fuselage and they're going to accept the, um, the screws, the AN2. So I may have been misspeaking a little bit. The Monel rivets are the rivets that are actually holding the nut plates in place. And the nut plates are what are going to accept the screws into the fuselage to hold the seat pan in place. Let's see if everything fits together nicely. I'm going to blow this thing off a little bit because it's got plenty of dust on it. Psst, 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 psst. And my air compressor is MT. Psst, psst. That's, uh, those are cool sound effects made by me. So while that thing's pumping up, I'm going to grab the, uh, the screws and the washers. Try this again. Seems to work better when you have some air in the compressor. All right, we got our six bolts and six washers. So let's uh, test fit this thing into the fuselage and see if it fits, and then we'll uh, install it. Looks like most everything lines up, which is a plus. And up top here, so let's put some screws and washers in and see how it see how it seats. that finger tight Thank you. 
two. Three. Three to go. Go around to the other side. Thanks to everybody who's come back to watch the channel. I appreciate that. Hopefully you're seeing something that maybe you haven't done yet or not, or something that you'll be doing here in the near future, and you can watch me hopefully not screw it up so you can see what, what it entails moving on. This seems to be a pretty simple step, and I enjoy those. There's plenty that seem simple, but they aren't. I'm gonna leave those pretty much nice and hand tight so they don't rip anything out. Everything seems to thread pretty nicely just by hand, which is good. Hopefully I didn't speak too soon. Oh, this one's going in nice. Probably could be hitting these with the drill, but I don't want to torque them too much. I want to be able to feel like this one feels a little off. So I'm going to back it out nicely and try it one more time by hand. And we'll hit it with the washer and the screwdriver. There's definitely an issue there. The threads on there don't look the greatest, so I'm going to see if I've got another one of these and try that. As it turns out, I do have a few extra of these, but when I bugger one up, I do try to make a note of it and write it down so I can get it on the order list, because I'm sure if I take an extra one, I'm going to need it someplace else later on. So I'm just going to thread it in nice and easy and see how it goes. not going in as nicely as I would like it to so I'm gonna see if I can put a tap in there and thread it in decently if not I'm probably gonna have to put a new Monel on there and get two new screws so let's try that well, that is a 1032 so I got a 1032 tap on here and I'm just trying to clean those threads out inside the, the Monel 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 however you pronounce it I'll probably look that up later on or someone will correct me Monel seems like that threads in there just fine so hopefully the bolt will go in there here in just a second it's always a hitch this is one of my expensive tap and die sets from Old Harbor Freight which seems to be working just fine for what I've needed it to thus far my experience of using taps and dies is very minimal but it's done what it's needed to do thus far so far I've basically just used it to clean out some of the uh, powder coating on some of the pieces some of the on the fuselage Right, it seems to be going in, and then it doesn't. And then it is. Now. And there we go. Okay, we'll take a little look at fit and finish here in a second. All right, here's the top side. And down low. On the pilot side, co-pilot side, you can see my my little cutouts in front there. Not perfect, but not terrible, I don't think, for not being a machinist. At least I have I have access to the screws if I have to take the floorboards out or something like that, so I don't I won't have to take the seat pan off to get to those. We'll do a back set on the on one of those monels so you can see how that looks in there. Same thing on the other side. So 
Not terrible. Thanks to everybody coming back to the channel. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell for notifications so you don't miss, so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. In the next video, we'll be working on the seat belts, I hope. So, so we can be safe and sound. If not, maybe we'll do the, the seat trays or the trays underneath the seat pan there. So I know I've got to do a little bit of drilling and fitting those in, and I should probably do that sooner rather than later. So one of those videos will be the next one up. So thanks for stopping back, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day.